Greetings and salutations, Internet Testing. It is Iowa Fotech, and here we are with another delightful video from uh, from me to you through the internet. And this time, I'm going going to cover the Dark Eye, which is the number one tabletop role playing game in Germany, and it is also extremely popular in Europe in general. And at some point, I probably will do a series covering the Dark Eye, uh, the top game of Deutschland. I really need to get back into studying my uh, uh, Dutch, so I can uh, speak in the Dutch, speak it in the Dutch more efficiently. It comes in a really nice sleeve. I mean, this is a quality job here from the start. You have this uh, very nice opening cover opens up right there beautiful artwork I love the terminology they use use for this character reference sheets for the dark eye heroes of the dark eye you consistently face new adventures and gain fresh experience while improving your skills you gain riches and come to possess valuable artifacts and other pieces of equipment on the journey you meet Numerous friends and foes, all whom will undergo similar changes. The Dark Eye character sheets let you keep track of those important details. This pack contains 10 full-color folded A3 character sheets, which include all attributes, skills, advantages, and disadvantages, as well as space for equipment. Six full-color A4 supplementary sheets for mages and blessed ones. And a four A four templates for NPCs, monster sheets, and combat logs. This is sold for four ninety nine. You have this is beautifully organized. This is a character sheet for personal data. You got a sketch section right here. You got your basic character information like name, gender, race, birth, date of birth, age, hair color, eye color, height, weight, eight pos pro Profession, culture, social standing, place of birth, family, characteristics. You got your standard, you got your stats for the dark eye. I keep up uh, like courage and intelligence and an agility and strength and dexterity. You got your dexterity and agility split from dexterity. So that's a rather uh, important detail to keep in mind. You got Advantages section, disadvantage, and general special abilities, as well as your life point, arcane energy, karma points, spirit, toughness, and dodge information right here, as well as your fate points and experience level right here. Uh, as you can see that it's not overtly complicated as far as a character sheet is concerned. This is a, yet again, much like the other character sheet for Dungeons & Dragons 3.5, it's actually a fold open pamphlet style and on the inside here you have yet again your character sk uh, skills and your encumbrance number as well as it's repeated here and it's repeated here so you can write it down here to keep track of it and then you can write it down here here that way you can always reference back rapidly from here to here or any other place that you need to use it up there you got your skill section right here, and you also have a reference to what page in the core rule book these uh, rules are tied into. So you can actually go ahead, you got body control, and you can put down whatever information you need here. You got ENC, improv, SRR, checks, and so forth. And then you have ability, attribute modifier section down here, language and sentence scripts. So you can, you have a differentiation between Speaking and writing, you got combat techniques like bows, brawling, crossbows, chain weapons, daggers, fencing weapons, impact weapons, lances, poles, shields, swords, throwing weapons, two-handed impact weapons, two-handed swords. You got close combat information for your weapons. So you happen to have like say two or three weapons on you. You have information there you got your shield parrying information down here you got your life points yet again right here so for easy uh, reference so if you 
go from the front page to the center page and you're running combat. You have your information right there at the bottom here for your HP when you're looking at your weapon information and your defensive mechanics and your skills for such things. You got combat special abilities up here. And then on the back side, you got belongings, what kind of trinkets your character carries around with them. You got your animal companion sheet as section right down here, which is a nice handy dandy section right there. And as I said before, you got a multiple of these sheets that come with it. So you have the same one multiple times, which is actually kind of nice because these are full of uh, the pamphlet style ones. They're all basically the same thing. Except you got like six, you got ten of these character sheets like that with the same basic setup. And then there is a few other sheets here. You have a character ritual sheet right here for casting your spells, your spells and rituals. Yet again, it has your core stats up here, your AE max and current, current, current information, properties, primary attribute and tradition for your character, magical special abilities and cantrips. And then you flip to the back side. yet again, you have your core stats here, your KP max, your current current level on KP, and then you have your legal ritual, chant, and ceremonies section here, aspects, primary attribute, tradition, bless special abilities, and blessings. So you have your magister, and you got your blessed one, and you have six of these sheets, And they're kind of they're handy dandies because you can if you have a character you could just take one of these single sheets and stick it right here and you got yourself a little folio for your character now. So there's a total of six of those sheets. These are actually fairly easy, uh, other than the artwork work right here. Uh, are rather still not excessively expensive for your printer if you want to print, copy them and print them. Yet again, you got only six of these. And then there's also a few other uh, sheets right here. You got your GM document sheets for your NPC characters. So if you want to make a character, this is a simplified version of the character sheet, yet again, more stripped down. And uh, you can put all your uh, essential characteristics for your NPC on the sheet. You got multiple of those. Got you got combat protocol sheet for your fighters. And creatures. So if you have uh, some characters that uh, NPCs like humanoids fighting your humanoid protagonists, you got this side, and this side you have a creature oriented sheet. So if you have like a monster of some sort, you can put down the information here and you can go. I actually truly do like this setup. Uh, considering that this is literally only $5, I'm not joking, this is $5. This is for five dollars this is a four star i would definitely buy this if you want to play the dark eye go for it if hell it heck if you don't play the dark eye and you are interested in the dark eye and you just got the core rule book this is not expensive you could throw five dollars into this and boom you got character sheets for the dark eye and you could use them as references for your own custom character sheets in other gaming systems. Or you can someday convince people to play the Dark Eye with you. And boom, you got character sheets already for that. So this is like almost an automatic four star. Uh, the only thing I could really say that'd be better is if you happen to have a folder in this packet with it. And a folder to, folder, folder to put your character sheets in. So you can reuse the folder over and over again and you put note sheets in there with it. But other than that, it's like, dang, this is this is an exceptionally good value for your money and the quality is solid and is there. I don't really see any issues with the sheets at all. They're all 
moderately colorful, they're well organized. The price is ridiculously low. Jesus. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I, I enjoy showing off the dark eye character sheets. At some point in the future, I probably will actually go through the dark eye more in depth, but that'll probably be right around the time I do the Mutant Epoch, which is uh, an underground RPG in the United States and uh, across the world. So thank you very much for watching, watching uh, this video, and I hope you have a delightful day, a nice and a wonderful week, and see you next time.